Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of our Savior, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. And I want to give uh, peace, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, okay, that Yahweh Shai has come back to deliver by the uh, grace and mercy of Yahweh, all right? Um, I just wanted to get, you know, just another, um, just another uh, talk, you know, willing and dealing, uh, basically on the topic of um, uh, the the elect, you know, Ashlak, the um, none of the wicked shall understand, okay? Because you know, here it is, I'm on my way to um, a camp, you know, to um, you know, hopefully be a part of that number that gets to uh, be a laborer to wake up the elect, okay? Because we do know that Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to uh, wake up his elect, okay, because that was already predestined, it was already uh, spoke about, you know, so, um, you know, just meditating on how, you know, right now, you know, outside here and up, up in Jersey, it's uh, pretty cold out, you know, um, it's like in the, the low 30s, you know, snowing, whatever, you know, just the elements, but to the outside, outside world, what we, what we do it seems very foolish, okay? It seems very, you know, it seems very pointless, you know, especially when they see us out on, the, on these highways and byways during uh, the weather conditions like, like this, you know, they look at us as, as, you know, wasting our time, okay? But the scriptures tells us, you know, that um, be not weary in our well-doing, all right? And it also tells us that our labors, are, our labor is not in vain, okay? If we, if we endure to the end. All right, but you know, to, to the majority of people out there, you know, even people that claim to be in this truth, going out on these highways and byways, you know, consistently day in and day out. I mean, week in and week out, you know, uh, uh, giving the Lord no rest. To to the majority of people, this is um, this is uh, 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 foolish to them. You know, this they can't comprehend why we do this. All right, and um, it's really because they can't understand it. All right, because the spirit of Yahweh Shah is not supping with them. For them to understand the reasoning, you know, the sense of urgency of why we do what we're doing, okay? So this is um, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Many shall be pur uh, purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand, okay? So... Right here is is is, is letting is giving a, a separation, okay? Scripture is giving a separation of the righteous and the wicked, the wise and the unwise, all right? And it's saying that many is going to be made purified and white, okay? And that that being made white is not talking literally the skin color. It's it's talking about being made clean, okay? Being made pure. Because if you look up the definition of white, all right, the sin, the one of the couple of defin, def, definitions is clean and pure. All right, they're going to be uh, uh, cleansed by what? By way of uh, uh, of the scriptures. Okay, first and foremost, our spirit is being cleansed by um, renewing our minds to the ways of of the, how the, how, these, how we're supposed to live according to the scripture. Okay, according to the spirit. All right, but what it says that the wicked is going to continue to do wickedly. So while we out here on these highways and byways, while we out here making our bodies a living sacrifice, which is our reasonable service, all right, this is nothing that we're doing extraordinary, okay? Going out here in this, in this, in this cold conditions, you know, which is not even really that cold. You go put a couple layers on, you know, you'll be good, all right? But going out here in these conditions is re really just a reasonable service for us, all right? The scriptures tells us, you know, in Luke, I believe the 17th chapter, that, you know, if the servant does everything that the master says to do, you know, you're an unprofitable servant because you're just doing what you're supposed to do, all right? But what? The wicked, you know, talking about two-thirds of our people, all right? They don't understand why we're doing this. They really can't comprehend the, the uh, logic behind us doing what we're doing, all right? And, you know, it's funny because you look up, that, you look up the word foolish, right? I wanted to get that scripture. I'll see if I can find it real quick. Um, the, that scripture, it talks about the foolishness of uh, preaching, all right? That's what we're doing right now in the eyes of, of the world, you know. What we're doing is um, it's foolish. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Bear with me. If not, you know, brothers shouldn't... Uh, oh, here we go. Um, uh, Shalakia. Now, this isn't it. 
But yeah, brother should know that scripture. I can't find it right now, you know, um, driving. But, you know, the scripture says that the foolishness of, uh, of preaching, and you look up that word foolish, you know, the first definition, when you look it up in the blue letter, it says, uh, I think it's more uh, like uh, moro or, or, mor or moran, okay? Like that's where you get the word moron from. So, you know, when we go out here on, on, on these streets, we're looked as to be like morons to these people. Like we looked as to be like something that we're not fully, you know, uh, uh, there and, you know, uh, mentally. You know, that's how these people look at us because why else, you know, speaking as a fool, they were saying, you know, why, why, how, why else would they go out there on these, in, in this code and teach? You know, they got to be something really phys mentally wrong with them. Okay, but what? You know, if you go deeper into that word, it goes to um, mysteri uh, mysterion, okay, which you get the word uh, mystery from. And really, that's what this is, man. You know, us going out there on these highways and byways, it's a mystery, all right? It's a mystery to, uh, to this world. So, therefore, to them, it's foolish, okay? Because... Like how the scripture says in um, Corinthians, the second Corinthians, uh, I think it's first Corinthians, the second chapter. Um, no, so like second Corinthians, the second chapter. It says that uh, the spiritual things are foolishness to the to the uh, to the natural man. All right, so it's a mystery. What we're doing is a mystery to to the majority of people. Okay, because they can't understand. You know, because they're wicked, all right? The Lord deprived them of that wisdom. He deprived them of the of, of his wisdom, okay? He deprived them of his of, of the knowledge of himself, okay? So, you know, when brothers, you know, you got to continue to keep that in, the mind, in your mind. Like, we are really, you know, many are called and few are chosen. But even even being called and, you know, having the hope of being chosen, we are really in a, in, in a different class, all right? We're in a different mind state. All right. That's why even Yahweh said to himself, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. So even when people, you know, on a carnal level, tries, tries to reason, tries to, you know, get reason on why the Lord does certain, certain things, you know, to them, it's, it, it, it doesn't make sense. To them, it's just foolishness. Or why would the Lord create a whole nation that he doesn't, that he, that he hates talking about Esau? All right. Or why would the Lord. If he loves us, you know, speaking as Jacob, you know, these unwise Israelites, if he loves, loves us, why would he put us in captivity? All right. They, you even have an account of Jacob saying that in, in uh, Malachi, you know, the first chapter. Oh, I uh, uh, have loved Jacob and, and hated Esau. He says, where, where now has thou loved us? All right. That's what, you know, the, uh, these Israelites say out here. Oh, how does the, how does the heavenly father, the creator of all, love us when we're in these uh, in, in these worst conditions? OK, but once you get the mysteries, OK, once you get the once you get the mysterion of the Lord of the scriptures, then you understand how he loves us. OK, you understand why we're in these situations. All right. But only the only the elect, the one that has Sophia, all right, wisdom is going to understand that. But the wicked shall not understand, okay? The wicked is never going to understand it, all right? So that's why, you know, to get this next precept, um, that's why, you know, in the book of Revelations, you know, he breaks it down, you know, very, very uh, um, easily, man. It's um, Revelations 11, verse, uh, Shalak, Revelations 21, verse 11. It says, he that is unjust... Let him be unjust still. Okay, so the ones who are who the ones who are wicked, you know, they're not gonna get it. All right, that's why you know Paul said, if our gospel be hid, it be hid to them that are lost. You look up that word lost; it, it means rendered useless. Okay, uh, destroyed. So if our gospel be hid, it's gonna be it's gonna be hid to the ones who are preordained to be destroyed. You know, so that's why we always give salutations to the elect because. We only, only the elect is going to get that peace. Only the elect is going to get that mercy and grace from the Lord, okay? And that's why we hope to be the elect. You know, it's not just about being an Israelite, you know? Israel's a innumerable, innumerable multitude, but all of Israel's not going to be saved, all right? Only the elect is going to be saved. That's why, when we, that's why we endure, as Paul said, that's why we endure for the elect's sake, because only the elect is going to be saved. But what? He that is unjust, he that is not a uh, 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 righteous, you know, let him be unjust still. Let him go about his way and, and, and continue to be wicked because he's going to be destroyed. Okay, that's why the Lord told Ezra, you know, concern yourselves not with them that perish, but inquire about how the righteous shall be saved. Okay, and that's what we got to remember. You know, we, we sometimes get caught up in, you know, con condemning, you know, which we, which we do, which we are sent to do, you know, condemning the two thirds. But, you know, this gospel is for 
the elect, okay? So we really are concerned about waking up the elect. We're more concerned about waking up the elect than condemning two thirds, all right? And then condemning these and these uh, heathens. And they're gonna get condemned regardless, all right? They are already condemned. Yahweh Shai said it. He that believeth on me shall have everlasting life, but he that believeth not on me uh, is already condemned. <laughs> They've been preordained pre to be condemned from the foundation of the earth, all right? So it says, he, he, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, okay? And what's the, what is being filthy? Not talking about, you know, actual dirty person with dirt on them, all right? It's talking about being filthy spiritually because Yahweh Shai told us that we are we have been washed by the word, okay? We have been baptized by the fire, which fire is the ultimate cleaning agent, which is the, the fire is talking about the Holy Spirit. So we're, you know, the elect, Lord willing, you know, myself and, you know, the sincere Akiyam out there that are striving for the truth until death, Lord willing, we're part of that elect number, okay, that elect saints, the, the church of God, you know, we are cleansed, we are clean in the eyes of the Heavenly Father by the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay, but the ones who are not under that, under that, um, that, uh, uh, uh fold, under that, under that, uh, grace and mercy, they're filthy, okay, so, it's right here, it's plain, it's, it's explicitly letting you know, if those people are filthy, let them be filthy still, okay, they're going to get their cleansing, in the second death, okay? They're going to get their cleansing, you know, by the way of them thermonuclear fires, all right? It says, and he that is righteous, let him let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. So the ones who are continuing and striving and, and, and being hot for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shad, those are the ones who you can who, who you commend. Those are the ones who you, you know, you, you keep uh, exhorting. Those are the ones you want to continue to feed. Those sheep, all right? You want to continue to feed those ones who you see that has the zeal of God, which is also according to knowledge, okay? Those are the ones who you want to, you know, you know, pick up, you know, those are the ones who you, who you want to um, reprove unto repentance. All right. Because you, you, you understand that, you know, those men have that, have that spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on them. So let those men be righteous still. Okay. But the, uh, but the wicked is not going to stand it, man. All right. The wicked is, he's going to look at us doing what we're doing as just being foolish. All right. Until that time comes where, you know, the Lord is going to um, take that take that veil off their eyes, but at that point it's going to be too late where they're going to see that a prophet has been among them. Okay, so you know this is just you know a quick willing willing and dealing, all right. Um, just exhorting the brothers to not get tripped up about how you know these uh, uh, two thirds out here don't don't understand it. Okay, the Lord has His elect already already predestined, man. It's just our job is to continue to uh, labor to um, bring in you know. Um, more fruit okay meat for repentance okay so you know with that hopefully it's edifying to the elect all praises honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shad and shalom